I thought today's match was a lot about experience. I thought Taylor played well in moments, and then his game deflated, just went down a touch because he probably squeezed a little bit too tight. He wanted it so badly. Chilich had those up and down moments. His forehand would spray, but he knows how to rein it in because he's won 20 titles now, because he's won so many matches in his career. But for Chilich, you can see that leap, what this means to Very him. Very happy. Huh? To think that in the, in the middle of the summer, even maybe a couple of months ago, he was ranked in the 40s. Now he's going, and he's going to be seeded at Australia. That mm. makes life a lot easier. So you don't play another seed uh, until the third round. So along those lines of youth versus experience, for you, when you're a young player and maybe you had some tougher losses, how would you take that step back and say, okay, I know exactly how I can improve. Let me attack that in practice. Well, I think first you've got to, as Paul said, look at the glass half full. Look mm. at the weeks, the, the last six weeks that Taylor has had, the Indian Wells where he got to the semis, made huge progress there, winning three matches back-to-back -back that were, were so big. Um, and, and getting to the finals here is still a big plus. He, I said this on air, is that T Taylor lost to Brooksby at the U.S. Open. I think that was a huge hit. That might have been a moment where he looked and said, wow, this guy's on my heels. That's never comfortable because Taylor was supposed to be the guy coming up. And now you've got a young kid nipping at your heels. So that may have, it may have given him this boost to, to change his game and to be more aggressive as you and David Nankin have worked on. He's got to be aggressive on, in those big moments. Uh, play the right way. Yeah, and you hit the nail on the head. And I think that's one of the hardest things for any young player is to figure out their own identity and then to translate it into the biggest moments. You know, do you trust yourself in the biggest moments or do you get into a situation where you try too hard and you make sure you don't lose instead of trying to win? And for Taylor Fritz, it's very simple. I mean, he's a power tennis player that when he plays power tennis like he did at Indian Wells um, and he did it in succession against Berrettini and and then he did it again uh, against Sinner, and then he did it again against um, Zverev. Those three big matches, that's the style of play. Not because he won, but that's your game. And today he didn't do that, and he struggled a little bit uh, to let himself go and just play. I mean, I know you want to compete hard, but for all the young players, what's your identity? How can you make an uncomfortable situation, which is being in the finals or being in a pressure situation, feel comfortable and trust yourself? The only way you can do that is by saying, what's my game? I'm going to evaluate myself on how I play, not if I win or lose. Am I playing the right way? But so much of that is experience. Sure. I mean, Chilich has been in so many of those finals, so he knows the rhythm of going into the locker room on a Sunday, and it's just you and that other player. It's a different feeling, and you got one more match to hold up the trophy. That's pretty special. No, nope, can't teach experience, and you can't teach success at the same time and this was a successful week for both these guys and something for both of them to be very proud of moving forward.